Hey, this is Roz, and you're about to watch a video on pixel art. That's too strong here. I'll bring back the shadow layer. Uh, that was not it. Was it this one? Yes, it was. Now I see that I actually want an even darker shape here. So it frames that rock beneath it really well. And the main rock that is bothering me right now, and actually I should make sure that these, since I want them to tile, I'm going to make sure that either they f bleed into each other, um, let's see, so yeah, either they bleed into each other with the, um, from side to side, so like if this tiles this way, it should bleed into another one here, which is not the case right now, or that it's completely, you know, duplicated like this. Um, and that's the approach with which I'm gonna start, and then as I create variants, I'll have them uh, kind of tile into each other, just so the uh, tileable portion is not as noticeable. Um, and this is probably something I'm gonna address as I make the second one and basically create the tiling part. Um, and maybe it's a good it's a good point to do that right now but I do want to create the pattern on the stucco as well before I start working on how they tile left and right so I'm gonna create a new layer here right, this palm rejection is really annoying me right now that's on a different layer too. Oh. Okay. So, do a bit more. Over there. Oh, I don't want to do that. I do want to reduce the opacity of the whole thing. And see, yeah, see that like that kind of blends in well and doesn't attract too much attention to itself. And I feel pretty good about this, so I'm gonna merge it into that a layer below it. And then maybe just bring in some extra highlights in a couple of areas. Yeah, just a little bit here and there. Um, not like that. There we go. And we'll lower the opacity on that a little bit. Maybe slightly higher. Cool. Alright. And another thing that I want to do, that I could probably do on the tiling step, is add some of these shadows um, in between the rocks and make them less like not the same uh, consistency and the same level of uh, value darkness or lightness in each area so just have some of the areas slightly darker than others just so it creates some variation especially at the bottom here and then Reduced that opacity, but yeah, see, like it's just slightly different. All right, I'm gonna make a new layer and kind of focus on the stucco for a bit uh, before I tile it and start working on the general tiling aspect of it, and then kind of polish the rock and the stucco as well. So for the stucco, I'm gonna go with first with 
a larger brush because I've been drawing with a one pixel brush. So I'm gonna go to maybe four. Let's see how big this is. And just go slightly darker and more saturated. I just wanna make some shapes here. Okay, slightly lighter and even more saturated. Even lighter, less saturated. And I'm really just making up shapes. I just want kind of random patterns that I'll obviously I'll reduce the opacity of these in just a second. But I clean that up. Cool. I think that's probably enough. I'm gonna now do some dittering from maybe with like two pixels from one to the other so this is like some really aggressive dithering and then I'll do some like fine tune dithering afterwards it's not really dithering it's just kind of like expanding the previous shapes into each other reduce the opacity of that to see what it looks like yeah so see it's just meant to create some visual variation in the back all right and then I'll add a new layer on top of that and pick up that color and see now with the one pixel do some blending in Keep in mind that I'm drawing on a new layer here with 100% opacity, but the layer that I started with is, you know, at 24%. So those colors match only because of that adjustment in transparency. Because uh, when you do a color pick here, it actually picks up every value that's on screen on top of each other. So basically the composite version, not the value of the layer that you're on, which you know it's beneficial for me in this case all right work mm, that down reduce the opacity maybe even slightly more and then this is the shadow, great. Um, add another layer. Do some more blending here. And with this, I'm gonna reduce the opacity of just that layer. That way there's even more made up values between them. Hey, if you enjoyed the content, leave a message below, like, and subscribe.